In this video, we're going to show you how to create an aerodynamics component. There are two aerodynamics components, simple aerodynamics and an aero map. We'll start with the simple aerodynamics. Start out by entering your air density and the vehicle frontal area. And then enter your aero coefficients. You can also toggle between different input methods. For example, you can specify a wing efficiency, or you can define the front and rear downforce coefficients independently. Let's move on to the aero map. In aero map, you will define your aero coefficients as a function of the front and rear ride heights. Start by entering your downforce coefficient in the data table. You'll have to do this for the drag coefficient in the aerodynamics distribution. You can also apply batch operations to your map using the offset and scaling factors. You can also change how the map will be interpolated. Entering an aero map manually can be very tedious. You can also import an aero map from a CSV file or an Excel file. To do this, go to Aerodynamics, Import, and select Excel or CSV file. You'll be prompted to select a file containing your aero map. On the right, you'll see the contents of your file. Start out by selecting the data range for the front ride height and the rear ride height. Then select the data range for your arrow coefficients. When you selected all the necessary information, you'll now be able to click OK. Optimum Dynamics will create a new aero map with the data you selected.